Global War 36 enthusiast here with a video on understanding supply paths. Supply is traced from home country to a destination. Uh, so what are situations in which you would need to trace a supply path? There's five different scenarios. The first is if you're tracing to a factory. Um, in order to build land units or aircraft, you have to trace supply to a factory. Of course, if you're building out of, say, this major factory in Bavaria, since Bavaria is home country, you're automatically in supply. But let's say that you were going to build land units or aircraft out of this minor factory in central Romania. You'd need to trace a supply path from home country to that uh, factory. Naval units may be placed at a shipyard in a supply path. If you were building say at this uh, major shipyard in northern Italy, northern Italy's home country, so that would automatically be in supply. But if the Germans were going to trace supply to this shipyard here in western Yugoslavia, they would have to trace from home country to that land zone in order to build naval units there. Upgrading requires a supply path to the land zone that the unit or facility receiving the upgrade is in. So if um, the, uh, say, British were going to upgrade this infantry in Sicily, they would need to, to trace supply uh, to that uh, minor port there in order to be able to upgrade this uh, infantry into a motorized infantry. A fourth thing that requires supply is lend-lease delivery. Um, and finally, there's some special abilities that require supply paths. The Condor Legion, Deutsches Afrika Corps, and International Red Aid all require the use of supply paths. So how do I trace supply? Um, supply starts in home country. It can be traced any distance. It does not require uh, an air or naval transport except uh, International Red Aid and it does not use up rail capacity. It does not require movement along the shortest path. There's two different ways that you can trace a supply path. One is by land and one is by sea. So let's talk about by land. The supply path must travel along rivers and or railroads that have been undamaged and possessed by you or a controlled or aligned nation since the beginning of the player turn. Uh, a supply path can consist of any combination of railroads and rivers. Uh, if a river travels between two land zones, one side may not be possessed by an enemy nation. Uh, by sea, the supply path must travel by ports, dockyards, or shipyards within range that have been undamaged and possessed by you or a controlled or aligned nation since the beginning of the player turn. So let's take a peek at that here. Let's say that England is going to trace supply from northern or uh, yeah northern England um, and the way it works is minor naval facilities uh, have a supply path range of three and major naval facilities have a supply path range of five so let's take a peek about the um, British tracing supply down to Sicily how that might work so you you would start here in northern England at this shipyard and you get to trace uh, five. So you could say one for here in A17, two to A20, three to A28, four to A35. Uh, and then you could trace the fifth one down here to A44. Now you're touching the major naval facility in Gibraltar. So you could uh, count one here to C zone M2 two to C zone M3, uh, and uh, you've reached this uh, minor port here. And so you could upgrade that infantry in Sicily. There is a rule uh, that once a supply path has re-entered land zones from the C zone, it can't move across more C zones. So for example, you can't cross the sea here, get to Canada, and then go all the way across the ocean over to uh, British Columbia and re-enter the sea zones. So you can only use one portion of your path uh, via sea. Once you go onto land, you can't go back to sea again. 
Players can give each other permission to use straits and canals in their possessions. A canal can be used as a river to trace supply paths. Um, there's a thing to notice about if a major power controls a minor power. So if, let's say that uh, Vichy uh, controls uh, French Somali land here, and uh, Germany could trace supply using this minor port here. However, Italy cannot. So if Italy wanted to upgrade this infantry here in Abyssinia, it couldn't trace through Vichy uh, and provide supply to Abyssinia. Only Germany can use their controlled minor power. Uh, enemy units can prevent the tracing of supply paths either by blockade or interdiction. So let's talk about um, blockade. So if you have three surface naval ships uh, in a sea zone, uh, three or more surface warships uh, that are in, from the same alliance in a sea zone, uh, and there's no enemy surface warships, then the sea, that particular sea zone is automatically blocking all enemy supply paths in that sea zone. And it also blocks all enemy naval facilities were, which are adjacent to such a sea zone. So if these uh, ships were here in uh, sea zone A21, even though there are uh, German submarines there, um, they, these ships would still blockade uh, this particular uh, naval um, facility uh, because it's adjacent to it. Um, then let's talk about interdiction. Supply paths can be interdicted if they pass through a sea zone that contains either a non-submerged submarine, a battle cruiser that's on raiding status, or an aircraft on map. They can also be interdicted if they cross a narrow crossing with an enemy coastal artillery. So if Great Britain tried to trace supply through here where the Germans have three coastal artillery in Picardy, if the British tried to trace supply past that, then there would be interdiction. Similarly, if the British tried to have uh, their supply path leave southern England here in A22 and pass through A21, they would face interdiction from those German advanced submarines. For each sea zone where the delivery is interdicted, it's subject to interdiction die rolls. Uh, there are no die roll modifiers. Uh, it, if it scores a hit, the delivery is eliminated. So if the British did pass pa by these three um, coastal artillery, then there would be three shots at a one, two, or three, and if any of those hit, then it would be interdicted. Um, do, th do note that advanced submarine technology doubles uh, interdicting submarines' attack values. So these three advanced submarines, instead of hitting at a four, they would hit at an eight if uh, the British tried to pass supply through there. Just a couple of miscellaneous things. Improved logistics increases your supply path range by one. Um, so that what that does is it gives minor naval facilities a plus four and it gives major naval facilities a plus six. Uh, Germany's Condor Legion special ability gives a plus one supply path range when delivering Lend-Lease to the Spanish Nationalists. So that enables, uh, before the war starts, you can reach from Western Germany. So you'd start one in A11, two to A23, three to A22, four to A21, five to A28. And it does enable you to go six here so you can deliver to uh, Galicia Leon at this major naval facility in case this is uh, blockaded or um, perhaps damaged, that port's been bombed. Uh, if Turkey's a non-controlled neutral nation, uh, so if Turkey's just completely neutral, then uh, USSR can still trace the supply path to deliver Lend-Lease to the Spanish Republicans through the Turkish Straits, even if USSR is uh, at war with a major power. Normally, 
this strait would close to you if you're at war with a major power, but it does, International Red Aid, that special ability does enable the Soviets to deliver Lend-Lease through that strait. And then the Burma Road allows tracing a supply path through the otherwise impassable Himalaya Mountains for Lend-Lease delivery. If you have any questions, post below about, uh, about supply paths.